allowed to embark on a 200 European game with a record of these competitions that hardly stands comparison with a domestic domination, having only won 45% of these ties. And in the 16 games they've played against uh, Italian opposition, they've only won four. Well, the statistics might seem stacked up against them. But to redress it just a little bit, the last time they, they played the 100th game, it was against Juventus, an Italian side, and he beat them in the competition. And back in 1978, they beat the UEFA Cup holders, at that time, Piers V. Eindhoven, the club that Dick Advocat eventually managed. And there we start, of course. At any level, there's Amaris for getting a positive touch in there. It'll turn there by Moles. Turan trying to go back with them, McCann coming up. Van Bronckers, there's a little ball across. There's Wallace with a chance, and he couldn't get hold of it. Too many touches of the ball there, it had to be taken first time. Well, what a great start by Rangers, a great ball in from Van Bronckers. Looked up, saw, I can't believe he hasn't had this first time. Too many touches, you can't get chances or time like that in the box. Oh, what a great chance for Rangers. Well, they may regret that. Herbert, early days. Good bar. And isn't a bird ball. Turan got in there. Reyna goes in. Wallace is there. And touched away. The Italians are defending desperately at this stage. But their goal is still intact. They did well. Vidmar got a little break. It went through the legs of the defender. Reyna, good positive play again. Buffon having to clear the danger. Wallace, well, in again by Fabio Carabano and the yellow card. I think it's absolutely essential for the Spanish referee to stamp his authority on the game or the niggles have become worse than that. Well, absolutely, he's had a couple of tackles, hasn't he? And he most definitely caught Rod Wallace here. It's a good, intelligent ball in. Rod's obviously advantage to get the ball first. Carabano with a terrible late tackle. Quite right to get a yellow card. Tucked away by Purin. Now Amoroso. Here's Wallace. Referee rightly waving play on. No free kick there. Ortega. That's a very useful looking ball. There's the header down and into the box again came Marco De Bayer. I think very significantly when they're playing at wide, he goes right into the heart of the penalty area like this. Purini, wrong side of Bowles again. Coming way back deep, Johan Vallem, Udinese player, the Belgian international. Ferguson picked it up very well, there's a run through to Wallace, can he pick it up? Turan was there, but he gets uh, the free kick, Wallace. He went right into him hard. And off. I think it's a red card. It looks to me like Cannavaro with his second booking. Palmer are down to ten men. Now, he's been lucky because he's had several tackles in this game. I thought it was Turan at first to make the contact. It was a tackle from the rear, the down to 10 men, and the man who was outstanding for this side when they played against Rangers over the couple of games last year is now off. Well, it was a needless push on Wallace Archie because Lillian Turam had it also not coming across. And all of a sudden, the things have changed, haven't they? Rangers played with 10 men over in Italy for a half. Let's just see what Palmer are made of now. What a great chance for Rangers to go and get really something now before halftime. And certainly one of the great defenders in the game. I think that's a corner kick. One of the great defenders of the game. You would have thought would have been appropriate and necessary on a night like this as well. So Rangers get the corner kick. Ball very quickly put to the corner. There's Van Bronckers. These have been two set pieces that have played very badly, Rangers. Look at Ortega going right down the middle, and that's a bad ball played by Di Baio. Here's Moore. 
Reyna. Corini. Todd Perini. There's Wallace with a little touch. And it was in decision there, all right. I think uh, that confused them, the height of the ball. I think they, they thought it was coming in slightly higher. Yeah, it's a decent flick on, but good communication between Buffon and Sato. Buffon obviously roaring at Sato there to leave it. A lot of jostling about in that penalty area. That's a dangerous looking ball. There's Reyna. Nice uh, touch there by Van Brockhurst. Played away to the side, it's got to be played in quickly, it is Wallace. There's Reyna going in with a shot, it is a great save! Buffon right behind it, a brilliant, incisive counter-attack by Rangers. Great play by Reyna, gets the shot on target, good save by the goalkeeper, but a great pass initially from Van Bronckhorst, superb. Nambour, trying that long east one, well... I have to say, they've got to have touches of the unexpected, and I think he was perfectly entitled. Here's a, the move again, Alan. Yeah, it's a good play by Reyna. Again, direct play into the box, committing the defender, gets his shot on target. And so far, we just cannot beat that man. I said he... I saw him performing one of the great saves in World Cup football last year. Van Bronckhurst. There's Ben Maher. Ferguson and Brock has come to the side now Moles nice touch by Moles too many players around him and they've done the homework in this man on a one-to-one -one situation Moles will skin anybody but the ball's got a cluster of players around him now Purini Ferguson Up there by Perini again. Was McCann. That's a beautiful ball on to Bedmar. Shutting inside. Is he going to let fly? He scored. Bedmar scores for Rangers. 53 minutes off. And a big throwback. Comes up. Most European goal. And how he deserved that after the play they've had. Well, I said they had to be patient and move the ball from right over to left. Good cut in from Bismarck. Gets a little deflection off of Duram and over Buffon. Good cut in, good positive play. Duram comes to block. A little deflection. And that is a great start for Rangers before the end of the well, first half. I'll tell you, the, the big Australian international did the right thing to get inside of a player screaming for the ball. And a touch of the unexpected, did it? Well, exactly. They had so much space out the right-hand side. It was a one-and-one, -and, -one, and you get a situation like that, Archie, in the box. You've got to go and commit them, and you get a little bit more space. OK, they've got a little luck with the deflection. Doesn't matter. And send it back to the net. Just exactly what they wanted. They can settle down a bit now. Well, I think they would have bought... I know it's early days yet. They would have bought 1-0 in this game, not losing a, a, a goal at home, which is absolutely essential. And now, coming forward here, Luigi Sarto. Ortega. He'll try the cross ball in there's Moore. Yes, that looks like a corner kick. And I think uh, Amoroso is going to be booked for complaining. Well, you've got to keep your mouth shut at, at this level now, and I think... Uh, I think what's annoying him is that the little fellow, the little Argentine, is throwing himself about. He didn't like that, but Amoroso gets a yellow card. And it goes! Way to McCann. There's Michael Moles, brilliant turn by Moles. Too many players around him again. Van Bronckhurst, space here for Vidmar. Van Bronckhurst, away to the far side is Perini. Got to control it quickly, he did. Here's Reyna, trying the shot, and it's a good save. Well, he drilled that in beautifully, kept it down. 
little lesson there for Barry Ferguson. Absolutely, it's a good shot, but again, exactly what I said. Thankfully, Rangers are doing it. A quick change of pace, switches the ball to the far side. All of a sudden, they get a chance, a good shot, and a good save. Kept it down well, but again, Buffon with a good save. The side, it's right over the corner. Want to have done better than that, and he apologises, lifts his hand up very high. Actually, I think Palmer were almost caught, <laughs> caught out by that. He couldn't believe it. Allowing Vidmar to come up for this. Up to Amoruso, away by Turam. Vidmar lost sight of the ball, he gets it again. Almost comic cuts in there. Played very coolly by Bogosian. Well, uh, referee says the ball by Ferguson, I can't believe that, really. Barry's very unlucky again. Divao, good control, holds the ball up. He's obviously seen Barry holding his shot, but a little bit of six and a half a dozen there, I think. Bogosian wants to come forward. There he is again. Valem. Belgium and French internationals together there. There's Bogosian seeing a lot of the ball at the moment. There's a run through the middle. Should be picked up by Perini. And he doesn't need to touch it. Well into stoppage time as the halftime was a goal as well. You can hear what the crowd think about that. And there is the most unexpected goal scorer. I know he scored three in a friendly. But this is the goal that really mattered there was a touch off to Ram but the big fella deserved it for his conviction in getting into the ball yeah he did really well it's obviously gone Rangers way a little bit Palmer down to 10 men you got a little break they go 1-0 at half time sure they can't be quite pleased they need to go and get more up to they can't go to Palmer thinking 1-0 enough. the and that's the score at half time to a very pleased Ibrox audience Rangers 1 Palmer 2 so Palmer will play the containing game as we heard at half time there I'm quite sure about that and try to grab something it's uh, an exceptional circumstance for any team but for Italian teams are well geared to that into a vital second half and Rangers if they play patiently and they showed a great deal of patience Mark Hayton was pointing out not enough uh, shooting efforts after all the possession that they had that's an element of the game that has to improve and another one we have to be very careful about Amoruso. Well, he's already got a yellow card out here, hasn't he? And he has to be very careful. And like you said, it won't be the first time that a referee has decided to even things up. He's just on a very shaky wicket at the moment. I mean, hopefully he won't be under too much pressure and he doesn't do anything silly to put him under the cost like that with the referee. But I would honestly expect Rangers to get a lot of possession. Naturally, they've got an extra man. They've got to get plenty of width, get them turning. They've changed their four man at the back now, so there won't be so many spaces long to go at the flanks. But there'll be plenty of opportunities for Perini and Vidmar to get down there and get balls into the box. Ah, uh, Perini. Uh, McCann offside, the four that Alan was talking about, they're just stepping out in unison. Certainly holding on to the ball well. I think the emphasis is now on patience, which I think is a, a virtue possessed by spectators and players alike. There's McCann in a run. Now, can he skin him? Can he take it on? There's Wallace coming up. Now, McCann, he's got to let fly and go. Great defending. But not a bad ploy by Rangers, the fact that they can draw the Italians forward and hit them on the break. Well, it looked as if the game was at walking pace, doesn't it? But that's exactly what happened. Parma get caught a little bit ball watching. A good run from McCann. Great support by Rod Wallace. He just couldn't turn into a goal chance. And I think even Dick Advocat is on the line. He's talking to Jorg Alberts. He wants to come on and give them a little bit of depth and width, rather, I would think, on that left-hand side. Because it is just a little bit of walking pace. And Rangers need to keep the pace up to keep Parma under pressure. I think they, the coaches said, put the emphasis on keeping the ball away from Rangers now. 
That's a lovely little turn. Skin Perini's, I thought. We're watching him very carefully. Tries to go to the outside. Just getting it away. They're really having a go at Perini. We're in the far side, McCann. Moles controlled that beautifully. It was a very hard struck pass. Here's McCann. Tried to get it into Moles. Good anticipation again by Tuna. Waiting. I think we're just waiting for the, the game to stop. How often do you see that? Well, here are the crowd trying to get to the side, lift them up. Game's going rather flat at the moment for Rangers. There's a run down the left to Serena. Here he is. Good control by Serena. Tremendous pace here. This is dangerous. Just touched out again, and nobody there to pick it up. Albert's chasing it across. Tremendous space again by the Italians. Amoroso remaining absolutely calm. Wallace stroking it on that. Where goes Albert? Here's Mills on to Wallace. And look at Turan coming across. Tremendous defending. He's a superb player, absolutely superb player. He's got pace, he's got great touch. He, as you said, he learned great anticipation. One of the best defenders in the world. to Torisi. I mean, what you've got here, Archers, as well, you've got defenders that are prepared to get on the ball. They all like to get possession. They can play good passing, and they are actually keeping the ball at times off of Rangers. They've got to take a chance and put them under pressure to get the ball back. Van Bronckhurst, shirt pulled there. On to McCann, turning in neatly. And again, the referee waving play on, and I think we're going to have a matter come on for Rangers. Oh, there's no offside. Look, that was played right beyond Amoroso. Oh, that's not far away. And they're appealing to the linesman, but they ought not to do that. 20 minutes to go. And they got away from the marker, although I think from the attitude of Kloss here, that ball was going pretty wide. Doesn't matter. It's an indication that that's exactly what can happen. And he's done really well tonight. He's on his own up front. Down to ten men, it's not an easy job. I tell you, really, you've got to say in the second half, Archie, that Rangers really haven't looked a very good team at all. They cannot break this Parma team down. Attendance of 49,263. Perini. Uh, just giving the ball away. It's Perini. Didn't quite get up to it again. Barry Ferguson. He's having the play down again, Amoroso. This McCann. Cut it up nicely. Decides to go inside. Moles. Couldn't get away from his market again. This is where they're dangerous. Blue goes in. Didn't quite get the ball forward to Albert. And I think he's hurt himself in the process. Amoroso. Great save! Magnificent save there by Cross. A very careless header right there by Amoroso. I think he must have felt there was somebody going to pick it up. Well, there was. Bogosian getting down to it. And so did Claus. Look at this. He had a superb save on Saturday at Tynecastle, something like that. Well, it's good technique by Bogosan, striking the ball down. 
Gets that one away now to Wallace. Reina has tried to attack on the right-hand side. Wallace still going. There's a little touch across. Reina with it. And he scores! Reina! Beautiful goal by Reina. Rangers are two up. And after that possession that the Italians have, what Alan rightly said, they were the better side. Beautiful counter-attack. Yeah, superb, really absolutely brilliant. And Rangers have managed to get a second goal. Claudio Reina really has been a super signing for Rangers. Great but work from Rod Wallace, a good lay back from McCann. Claudio Reina makes no mistakes. A great lay back from the wee man McCann. Claudio Reina, a full strike in between the legs of two rounds. Buffon can do nothing about it. Thankfully, Rangers get that second goal, they were so badly needed. Intelligently put back as well. Yeah, it was great play from Rod Wallace initially, Archie, it really was. With a great vision from McCann, good support from Reina. Thanks very much, 2 nothing. What an interesting finish we're going to have to this game now. Amoroso is up, and I think the book was up free kick. It just and shows it you how the game can change. At all costs. They must avoid losing a goal now. That, that is a top priority. Absolutely, as it has been since the, the start of the game. But Here's good. Wallace again. There's Moles, he's onside. Moles is going with a shot and it's just over. The first time he has really flashed into the game and he does it in spectacular fashion. Well, for half an hour the game has been dead and it's given Parma a chance to come into the game. All of a sudden, a little bit of direct play from Wallace. They get a goal from Reina, and all of a sudden, Moles is kicked into life. This could be a different game for the last 15 minutes. This is better from Rangers. Van Bronckhurst. Here's Albert. Ferguson. There's the other shot. That's not a bad one. And Wallace tries to get to the ball. Came in very quickly after that. But a good rebound saved there by the keeper. Yeah, it's much better by Barry. Keeps the ball down. Buffon can only parry it away. Rod tries to get the rebound. Can't get up enough. There's a little bit too small, Rod Wallace here, but does well. Good shot from Barry Ferguson. Buffon pans it away. Rod just can't get the rebound. There's Reina depending on this right hand side. Abanusso plays it safe. Well, he'll be a little bit anxious now, there's no question about that. He would have, have budgeted uh, or, or certainly banked on getting a win here and a 2 0 win is perhaps uh, maybe even beyond his wildest expectations, realizing he's playing against a quality side. Now he doesn't want to lose anything. Ferguson overdoing it here. Throw to Rangers, he was lucky to get away with that one. Well, I thought the linesman had given it the other way. Rangers getting everybody back into the penalty area, and Perini is brought down. It'll be a free kick, and that relieves the tension, which I think was developing in the faces. Of that Ibrox defence. Well, absolutely. They know that when he gets the ball, there's a big problem, and the biggest cheer of the night, I think, is the fact that he's a very, very tired Benoli, but they know he's a good player down that left hand side, and thankfully, Perini came out on top of that one. There's Ben Bronckhurst, Albert. Three minutes of stoppage time. Reyna. Tired, tired legs out there. A very tense countdown as Alberts gets through. There's a lovely ball, Michael Moles, and his first touch let him down. Didn't quite get a hold of it. Just got away from him a little bit. He's unlucky there, actually. Amoroso, that goes all the way through. Although, Archie, obviously, we'd love them to get a third goal, but realistically, the good news is that hopefully they won't concede a goal and they can go to Italy with a 2-0 lead, and you've got to fancy them to do it.
Here's Alberts. On it again. Wallace. Ferguson. Now here's Bonini. Reyna. Beautiful cut inside by Reyna. And I think offside. Yeah, so has been right on the spot there. What an interesting second game it's going to be if it stays like that to the end. I think the crowd are beginning to uh, indicate just how tense they are, whistling for the referee to bring the game to an end. They obviously didn't see the electronic sign up for three minutes of stoppage time. Amoruso beyond him, Farini. Now back to Cross. Van Bronckhurst. Here's McCann. Van Bronckhurst. Farini. Reyna. Moles to Wallace. Trying to go in his own, and there's Alberts for the shot, brilliant big save. Here's Wallace again, and it just passed. That would have buried him. Well, this goalkeeper comes from Tarara, the famous marble town of Italy, and he stood up to that almost like a statue. Yeah, he's got a really lucky kick on it there. It's a great strike from Alberts. Again, he parries it, bad defending. Rod picks up the loose pieces and it just clips his foot and just goes agonizingly past. I think that could have sealed it. Nevertheless, 2 0 is still a good result. Up goes Moore. Back goes Wallace. Moore trying to get into the tackle. There's Moles. Ferguson. Ah. Wallace. There's a little touch through. Can it be? Oh, that's a terrible miss. I think he panicked at the end. Giovanni Van Brockhurst. Well, they have come in the last couple of minutes. So close to making an insurance policy for themselves in Parma in two weeks' time. Well, it could have been three, then even four. It's a great ball through from McCann. Johnny just takes his eye off, but lifts his head, and the ball soars into row X. Let's just hope they don't do those chances. That's it. And there it goes. The final whistle, Ranger. A face-up for the first major hunt in what they hope is a long road to the Champions League by winning two goals to nil here is the first strike taken there, just the slight deflection from Turam, and Rangers deservedly at that stage, up by one goal to nil. Reyna scoring the second goal of the game, an American whose subtle touches can transform midfield so effectively. And there we are, a triumphant Ibrox.